An invasive weed is outcompeting native plants in Maricopa County. And it's heading down I-10 now into our area. The Arizona Native Plant Society in Pima County are teaming up now to stop the weed in its tracks. And Brian Brennan joins us live where stink net has been seen growing in our area. Brian. That's right, you know, volunteers were already here a few months ago off of Prince Road and I-10 in this dirt lot, pulling the weeds out of the ground, but they say after the winter rains, the weeds are coming back, and this is a fight they don't want to lose. An invasive plant species from Africa is trying to take over the desert southwest. It's a problem in California, it's a problem in Maricopa County, and it is coming down I-10, heading our direction. Arizona Native Plant Society manager Jesse Bird says to not let the little yellow flowers fool you. This noxious weed could spell death to many of our native plants. We don't want this plant in Tucson because it will outcompete all of our native plants. It is so prolific and so vigorous that it will outcompete all of our native plants. It goes by a few names. Stinknet is the name. Oncosiphon pyloliferum is its scientific name. Bird says stinknet is the most fitting name and says a little foothold has been spotted sprouting up just off I-10 near Prince. The Arizona Native Plant Society says it is hard to identify this plant when it's not blooming, but one good way to tell what it is is by the smell. It does stink, and that's part of it. It does have a really peculiar, strong odor, which is great because it also helps you in identifying it even before it gets up to the flowering stage. Bird says the threat to our native plants is very real. All of the springtime wildflowers that we love so much, this plant will outcompete our gold poppies. It will outcompete the desert marigolds. It will outcompete those beautiful little things that we love so much. She hopes they can get the word out before it's too late. The Plant Society and Pima County will be holding a Stinknet identification seminar right here from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow and again on uh, next Thursday as well. You just take Prince Road west of I-10, turn north, and we're adjacent to the Inland Kenworth business area. Reporting live, Brian Brennan, KGUN 9 on your side.